Welcome back to CSGO Betting Review and today we are going to look into our coin flipping bot for CSGO Empire. The system is used is a simple Martin Gale system where the double up and losses and then when you win it returns to the starting bet and will change to the other side. So if you are betting on CT it will start up from the starting bet but start to bet on T instead. Before we start, I would like to remember you to subscribe to our channel to get notification of our latest bots and scripts and also to leave a like on this video if it's helpful to you. But uh, let's get into it. This bot is running on Chrome, uh, so remember to use that if you need help uh, and you can find it uh, in the, my uh, Google Drive and there's a link down in the descriptions directly to the script uh, to use it all you have to do is actually just go to the side go under coin flip press f12 copy the whole script yeah you go do it from uh, from the home page but i just have the script here copy it in in the top there's something you can add that you can choose to bet more but remember it's 0 0.25 each one uh, and you can choose another side to bet on. I'm choosing to start on betting on CT. So when we're getting this bot to start, it will write out scripts, yeah, script started, my profit, and uh, yeah, some of this is Danish. Uh, I will have removed uh, those comments or changed them to English uh, before it get to yeah before the link to strap. So don't worry. But uh, as you see, the script have now created a uh, fits over here. Uh, 25 cent and uh, yeah, hopefully soon one will join so we can show you what happens uh, after exactly then one already joined I won and will change site but uh, while we letting this bunt run a bit I would like to tell you about uh, what not to do if you're using this bus uh, to have you having a good experience. First of all, it's very important that you never minimize uh, the browser uh, the bot is running in. That means this window right here. That must not be minimized. I mean, not click on this. Beside that, it's not okay to change uh, the window. So when I jump in here, that is not okay. I need to stay focused on the site. So the script all the time can read what is going on. Uh, it's very important because I tried it out and those errors can happen if the bot is unable to read and run smoothly. Uh, I will also... Uh, shit, there! Now we lost the bet and we will see what happened. The bet will now double, it will remove it a little later. It will place another bet that is 50%... Uh, sorry, that is twice as much on the same uh, site and hopefully one will soon join and I will win and you will see this one change over to CT and reset to 25 cents instead like that boom so as you see the script works perfectly, uh, perfectly and it's just running in the background uh, all the time, yeah, if you're playing a game or something, or if you just want to watch a movie while betting at the same time. It's a pretty deep way. Uh, and as always, if you are not here to understand the code and uh, anything, you can always now go to the description and uh, find the link and try out the bot for yourself. But if you want to be a little bit sure and want to know what your, the code is actually is, we of course also is going to review it while the bot is running a bit in the background. So, first of all we have the startup here where you can change your own permissions. Uh, so you can change the setup it's only 25 cents, I'm going to choose 2 here and it will be 2 times 25 cents or 0 0.5 or 4 and it will be 1 I'll bet as a starting bet. Um, all down here is not important you not touch. Uh, we have our button binding where we find our, all the button we need to yeah, use our script. Uh, afterwards we finding our start bank, how much money we have. 
then we actually setting up this uh, function here in this interval that run all the time and based on what the step of perform is the step to perform is it'll do different things so we will get into it first step of the perform is set to one as it is here you can see it will go in here and uh, update our bank uh, and print out our profit the next thing it will do in the the same part, this is the same part, all of this. It will check if it won. If it won, it will change site, uh, and else it will uh, double your amount of money and the uh, right out as I've done that. Uh, the last thing it do, does in this uh, if statement is to say that the step to perform needs to be the next step. In here, we actually only, um, yeah, we, uh, close bits uh, we we remove all the bets we have we have this function here called close bets that literally closes the previous bets if anyone is open then we clear our uh, previous bet that will mean if there's anything left in here we clear that so it will be yeah clean <laughs> no zero again like like this zero and uh then we start on clicking, placing as many, uh, much as we have betted. After that, we use the function choose TCT. That's pretty much this here, that choose which side we will bet on. Uh, then we click uh, bet open, open bet, uh, that will open a bet. And then we say that the last bet is what we just placed. Then we move to the third step. In the third step, we find uh, our bank again and update it to previous bank so we know what it is uh, at the moment. Um, steps to, uh, and then move down to the next step. Uh, that literally is just checking if uh, the bed is open and if it is open, we move down to, uh, yeah, checks actually that the spinner checker starts length is more than one, so it means that in here, this tag in here, that there is something in here, and you can see right now there's a bit in here. Uh, and then it runs down here, and when we are here, now the funny part comes, and the bit more advanced. It will check for, uh, for elements down here, and uh, if there is one, it will... Uh, oh shit, what the fuck is it will do now? It will actually... Check if it lost a one, and it will do that by finding if the coin was CT or T, and uh, actually print out. So we just remove that because you don't want that part. Uh, and then it will go and check if TCT was zero or if it was one, and if and based on if it was one or zero, it know if you bet it CT or T. And then it will tell if you win or didn't win and print it out and go back to perform step one again. And we are back here and it will do this all over again. This is pretty much the script. Some of the prints I will have removed or changed to English. Uh, but uh, as you see, it's pretty neat. And we just won uh, almost two coins so while I just explained you the script. So... Thank you all for watching and uh, as I said, I hope you leave a like button if this video help, uh, was helpful to you. Else check again tomorrow for more videos and uh, more fun. Have a nice day. Bye guys.